diving team this side of the North Sea. If we don't find that pig in about two minutes, we can all go back snorkeling for seashells. Listen, Banducci, that pipe's all screwed up down there. It goes every which way. I don't know where the stoppage is. That pig is so well hidden, Banducci, even his mother can't find him. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't funny, Mendoza. All right, into the water, you two. Your company's gonna be in our backs at the end of the day. And then we're all gonna be in trouble. Oh, oh poor Banducci's gonna be in trouble. Come on, let's get the show on the road. Should I call you Captain Daner? Uh, not quite, but get this. <laughs> He's agreed to a deal. 5,000 against 40, four years to pay the balance, no mortgage, okay? So you got it. When I get the 5,000. Oh, you get it? She's a beauty, huh? Well, I wouldn't call her pretty. Um... No, 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 no. Pleasure craft are pretty. Trawlers are like blind dates, didn't you know? They don't look so hot, but they got a great personality, right? Well, she's not my type, but I'll take your word for it. Want to come aboard? You won't mind. No, no, I, I've always heard that women are bad luck on boats. And besides, I get seasick when I eat tuna fish. What a landlubber. How'd I get hooked up with a landlubber? You hooked up? Right through the gills. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. The sooner I work, the sooner we play. Explain to me this great emergency that is cramping our weekend. Well, you see, um, they were picking the line. Picking. Picking. That's what we call them. We uh, clean the oil line. Why? Because we use a pig. Of course. You should know that. Well, it's true. The thing we push through the oil line is called a pig. And once a month, we pick the line to keep it clear. Two days ago, the pig got stuck in line, so we've had to stop pumping until we can locate it and unplug the line. How long is this line? Questions, questions. Let's see. Uh, it's two miles from the platform to the coast, another two miles from the coast to the inland storage tanks. That's not as bad as it sounds. We've managed to narrow it down to an area close to the platform. Got divers working around the clock. They'll find us soon. No sweat.
Get him up! get spooked like that. Let's go, Slim. I said it was a great white. Marlin, maybe, or dolphin. You don't let me go down there? Well, Mr. Uh... Dana! Mr. Dana, we got a contract here to find that pig and open up the line. How do I do that if I don't send him down? Mister, I know what I saw. You want to take that kind of responsibility? Hey! Who is this guy anyway, huh? We don't work for you. So why don't you go back upstairs and play with your chemicals, huh? All right, all right. What are we doing standing around here talking to this guy anyway, huh? He's oil company, we're divers. And have you guys seen a great white? Huh? Come on, Slim, let's go. We gotta make some bread, some money. Sharks can see around here. The sharks from the collection agency. One bite, they take an arm and a leg. something, I'll call you. Rick? Julie, hold the calls for a minute, will you? I need a break here. No, let them wait. The diving company has a contract with us. They're responsible for the safety of their men. Now, responsible enough. They're professionals. I have to trust their judgment. What about my judgment? Rick, we've got 27 wells under this platform. Every day we're shut in, it cost this company over $100,000. Now, it's my job to make money, not to lose it. You haven't answered my question. Of course I trust your judgment. It's just that in this particular case... Mr. Franey, you hired me to give you advice on marine problems. I'm giving you advice. You're going to act on it? Take a job and stuff it. Rick, come on now. You don't want to do that? Rick! Calm down. You don't want to lose this job. 
You've had three of them in two years. You may not find another. Maybe, but I'll sleep nights. How about you? Banducci, this is Franey, over. This is Banducci. Is everything all right out there? We still haven't found the pig yet. Yeah, what about sharks? They ain't got to you, huh? Look, I just don't want anyone getting hurt out there, that's all. Now, you must know what you're doing, but I repeat, I don't want anyone getting hurt. Don't worry. It isn't the first time some greenhorn imagined sharks when he saw sardines. Well, I would hardly call him green, Banducci. Daner's a marine biologist. He's a PhD, out of scripts. That kid? That kid. Okay. We'll be careful. Okay. Lawson, I'm sending down three-man teams from now on. Two men work the line, and the third rides shotgun with a bang stick. Listen, if there's a white shark, bang stick's gonna be like a pop gun. Just do it, huh? Makes your company feel better. Weekends on again. Did you quit? <laughs> you happy or morose? Ambivalent. You get the happy part. But you know I quit. I've been through two of them with you. You always walk taller when you're free. It's my artist's eye. Let's go. talk about it, you know. It's okay. Show him up, champ. Has it got a name or is it life in general? Hello, Bonnie Beautiful. Hello, Cabo. When did you get back? About four days ago. It's been a year. Good one? Fair. I blew all my money on a four-month vacation. How about you? Oh, I'm here every day. Bored. What happened to the weightlifter? Uh, he's still around, too. Boring. Really? Hmm. I mean, after you've jogged five miles, bench pressed three hours, swam 50 laps, bench pressed two hours, studied yourself in the mirror an hour, and consumed two steaks and two quarts of milk. What have you got left to give? Every day. I sleep by nine. Well, uh, I'm free after nine. I had this fantasy. Ice cold beer, pretzels, loud music, and the company of loads of pot bellied physical degenerates. Let's get out of here.
underwater demolitions in half the oceans of the world, and this oil digger is telling me to stay out of the water, there's a great white. Alejandro, you resent a man because he's cautious? Well, my cautious is fine. Panic is something else. What if he's right? What if there is a big shark? Well, <laughs> let's hope he came up from Mexico. Maybe you should phone in sick. Thanks, brother. You bring a shark to the dinner table, and Maria's afraid to take a bath, huh? Is there a shark in the bathtub? <laughs> no, no, Manuelito. Your father is just making a bad joke. I don't like this diving, Luis. You could go back to work for the salvage company. I could. If I was getting the same kind of money I'm getting diving. Money? Money, is that all you think Get about? Get off! Well, what am I supposed to do, huh? Listen to a woman's uh, ghost stories or, uh, or sit at the head of my table? Come on. Hey, hey, she loves you, dummy. I wish somebody loved me like that. I love you, Uncle Carver. I love you too, sweetheart. Luis, more food? No, Ma, it's all right. I'll get some when I come home from work, okay? Chance, he just got back home. Mama, you have no faith. What are you doing tonight, lady? Uh, hmm? <laughs> hey, I don't want to fight with you, man. It's stupid. You bet it's stupid. You'll never live to see another sunrise. Well, I don't know about that. Hi. Hi. Not back, you'll know. Uh, I'm thirsty. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Lay odds on it. What kind? Thousand to one. If I got ten bucks, you got ten thousand? I got fifty. About to one odds? You're on. Come on. Don't go away. Five bucks, the big guy kills him. Giving odds. Gotcha. I'll take a buck on that. I got twenty here. Come on, let's go. Come Some gutsy lady. All wise, you stick with the winners. Thanks for the new color TV, too. You got it. Say, why did that guy want to fight you in the first place? He didn't want a Chicano sitting next to him at the bar. So I told him his sister never felt that way. Felt what way? For sure, you're never boring. Mm -hmm. 
You said you were ambivalent, but I was going to get the happy part. Sorry, honey. No. You can't knock a guy for having a conscience. Oh, is that what's going on, huh? You quit the job, but not the problem. You got a solution? Yes, but I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> Try it on me. Walk away from it. Rick, sharks have been swimming the oceans for millions of years, and they're going to keep on swimming for another million. As I see it, divers are going to keep on diving. You've warned them about it. You've quit your job over it. What more can you do? I want to try one more thing. You can come with me. Why don't you come with me? Back to Los Angeles. You don't understand, Carolyn. Someone's going to get killed if there's no warning about the shark. I'm the only one who seems to think there's a danger, so it's my responsibility, right? I'm going to the newspaper office. Come with me. No, you go on. Not much good at crusades. I'll be there when you get back. See you now, he's too busy. You want to tell me? Yeah, I want to tell you about a shark attack. You want to report one? No, 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 I want to prevent one. Yeah, Henry here. No. A shark just attacks some divers. One's dead, one's been rushed to the hospital. Yeah. Issued, I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Yeah, I gather you're acquainted with Mr. Dana. I'm sorry, I have nothing more to say. Mr. Franey? All right. Okay. How are you doing? Am I all right? Well, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I had a feeling I knew something was going to happen. I knew it shouldn't work. I, I knew it. I all knew right. it. All right, all right. Come on now. You can't blame yourself for this. Where is he? Can I see him? We didn't see him. They... They took him right to the operating room. Did you, uh, talk to a doctor? No, nobody. They, they, they didn't tell me anything. They just asked me to sign some papers and took him away. Oh, it must be bad. I mean, I know. I mean, I all right, all right. Okay, okay. Um, listen, uh, he's 
stay right here, okay? I'll be back. Excuse me. Luis Mendoza is my brother. His wife and our mother in the hallway. We'd like to know what his condition is. He's being operated on right now. Well, I know. I mean, what for? How serious is this? Dr. Iverson is operating, and the admitting physician is busy in the emergency department. Get him for me. I'm sorry, but I don't have the authority to... What do you think you're handling here? Bedpans? Get him for me. Now! Okay. Uh, he's lost his right leg. He's been severed above the knee. He's been tearing at the back and the left shoulder, but I think we can save his arm. He'll be alive. living with his legs. We now return to our normal programming and we'll have further news on the 2 a.m. broadcast. Other well, coming to buy... Pretty rough. Did I rather died? Four kids, oldest is seven. The other guy, Mendoza, lost a leg. He's 34, two kids. It's not your fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I got a piece of it. So have a lot of people. Come back to L.A. with me. There's nothing for you here. There's nothing in L.A. I'm sorry, JP. I didn't mean it that way. I just don't know what I'm going to do in L.A. So what are you going to do here? I don't know that either. seen the morning yet. Your ex-employers have a conscience. They're offering 20 grand for anybody that knocks off the shark. 20,000? Yeah. They stopped the diving? Yeah. $20,000? Interesting. 
Very. Thanks for calling. Well, I thought you deserved it. I'll go back to bed. Goodbye. your boat? Yep. We've got the jump. She seaworthy? Yep. You're not going after the shark? Nope. Would you be interested in uh, running her out? Can you pilot? You bet. Then I'm interested. How much? 500? Yeah, only wanted for a day, huh? 500's for the day. 500 bucks for one day? Yep. Hey, that's crazy, man. So is $20,000 for one shark. If you want it, you better take it. They're going like hot dogs at a wiener roast. All right. If I give you 50 bucks, will you hold it till I get back? Depends when you get back. In a couple hours. Well, I'll tell you. $50 will buy you till 11 o'clock. You got it. That's uh, 11 o'clock this morning. shark from a helicopter? Yeah, it's the best way to try to spot him from the air and then shoot him. That yeah, makes sense, but I still can't help you. I've got nothing available until tomorrow. The shark may be gone by then. Sorry. Look, we could split the bounty, huh? All my choppers are tied up. If you want to wait till tomorrow, I'll hold one for you. Llegó Alejandro. Hello, Luis. Alejandro, did you see what he did to me? Did you see what the shark did to me? I'm going after that shark, Luis. No, Alejandro, no. Let him alone. Why? What's the use of it? You need the money. There's a bounty out for the shark. Money? Why do you think Luis is in this bed? Why do you think money could buy for him now? Alejandro. Yes, Luis. Please. Please.
Not too late, son. I waited an extra five minutes. Listen, you got 50 of my dollars. Now, here's the rest. I told you it's gone. That fellow right there took it. Hey! Wait a minute! Wouldn't the company give you a boat? I don't work for them anymore. Hey, Mac! Daner. Rick Daner. Cabo Mendoza. Yeah, I know. Look, I have a proposition. What do you say we go in this together, 50-50? I don't think so. Look, you can't pilot and hunt at the same time. You need another pair of hands. It won't work. I'm not in this just for the money, Daniel. I've got personal reasons. That's why it won't work. I'm too involved emotionally. You bet your life I'm involved emotionally. And I want that shark. And I'm gonna work my tail off to get him. And I'm telling you, you can't do it alone. Oh, yeah? You were gonna. <laughs> yeah, but that's me. Get your gear together. Meet me back here in an hour, okay? You won't be sorry, man. Hey, one thing, partner. You owe me $250. Do you want to tell me what you're doing, Cabo? I'm making a Mendoza cocktail. A Mendoza cocktail? Right. Yeah, well, uh, what's in it? Plastic explosives, a little bit of TNT, bullets, anything that can explode. Even primer caps. Black powder. You put it all inside, mix it around. Fill the bag full of popcorn, put this in the middle, and you got it made. Yeah, well, how do you set it off? A little love tap from Teresa here. Kaboom. No more shark. Here comes your buddy. What's the shotgun for? Hunting quail, are you? <laughs> You, uh, you boys try to get back before dark. Them navigation lights don't always work. But on the other hand, if you get in trouble out there and she sinks on you, don't worry about it. It's insured, and I'd like to get her off my back anyway. You sure is a comfort, huh? Trust me, huh? 
That engine has enough carbon to start a coal mine. Watch it. Watch it. Hey, get out of here. Hey, man, move over. Watch out. Hey. Watch it. Get away. Side. To the other side. Get away. Get that tub out of here. Wait till I get that gun in the beach. Let's get out of here. You got it. Let me ask you something. What are we doing out here in the middle of nowhere where that shark is cruising around that oil platform? He won't be there. Too much noise. Oh, of course not. He's swimming up and down looking for the candy bar. He uh, heard we were looking for him, right? Yeah. He'll be here. Music? Yeah, Shark Symphony. But well, what is all this? Well, what we have here is a cassette recording from Scripps Institute. The sounds of a fish floundering. Distress signals can be heard by a shark from miles away. Play the speaker in the water. Try to get the shark close enough to take the bait. It's called an acoustic playback apparatus. Now, well, where'd you learn all this? Ah, uh, Scripps. University of Miami before that. College. Well, I got all my marine education from Uncle Sam. And my old man. He was a commercial fisherman. You from Florida? Des Moines, Iowa, man. Iowa? How did you get to the ocean? Eh, old movies. No kidding. <laughs> They're what got me into the Navy. I mean, what's more glamorous than a frog man? Frog woman. Yeah. Well, I knew a few of those, too. You married? Uh-uh. Ever been? Nope. Uh, you're not much on conversation, are you? Shark? Uh, that's not our shark. How do you know? Too small. Well, how big is the one we're hunting for? Judging from how I took your brother's leg, I'd say about 15 feet. 15 feet? Well, this boat is only 18. Sharks tasted human. The fish in distress just doesn't turn him on. It's okay. Sharks feed at evening and dawn. He's starting to get hungry about now. These noises better get his attention. You know about yesterday. You can tell me I told you so. I told you so. Did they fire you over it? I quit. You really think what happened to Luis is the company's fault, huh? Yep. You know, we make two or three hundred dollars a day taking those kind of risks. Luis is my brother and I love him. But he knew the dangers of the job. Doesn't matter, men need to earn a living, right? And nobody has the right to take advantage of that need by forcing them into unsafe conditions. Yeah, but he wasn't forced. 
You some kind of religious fanatic? <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Lift. Got about an hour of daylight left. May as well head back. You want to lose that shark? And I think we better get our time in now. I hate the thought of going back and having that fat man laugh again. Well, let's start her up and see if we can find some daylight. All right. Try, huh? Nice job. Candy by births? Yep. She's my boat. Well, I'm a friend of Cabo Mendoza's. Got any idea when he'll be in? Not with this soup coming in, Lord knows. Do you have a ship to shore radio on your boat? Yep. But it went out about two months ago. I never had it fixed. Kind of expensive. <laughs> Is everything else fixed on her? Oh, yeah. She's seaworthy, all right. What do you think? Well, I can unclog the fuel line. But we better hope that battery has enough juice to kick her over. And I don't think we're going to find our way back tonight. Well, let's look at it as an asset. Maybe we can get a crack of the shark in the morning, huh? <laughs> you know, you're starting to sound like uh, an optimist. You better watch it. What are you going to do with... Uh, your bounty money. Oh, put a down payment on a boat. Yeah, what kind? 40 for trawler. Trawler? Now, what's a college boy like you gonna do with a boat? No, 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 no. I really want to know. Freedom, man. Freedom? Hey, man, you're free. This is the U.S. of A. Freedom to tell anybody to buzz off. <laughs> uh, I, uh... I like that. To go where I want, do what I want. Yeah, yeah, I like that. How are you gonna earn a living? Fish? Well, if I have to, as long as I don't have to. As long as I have the choice even to starve. Yeah, I dig it. That's why I want a boat, my boat. Something that can earn me a few shekels when things get tight. So I can go anywhere, do anything, man. Sure, fish. Off Kodiak Island, huh? Work the Alaskan pipeline, spend the winters in Baja, salvage off the Florida coast, whatever. As long as it's what I want to do. When you talk, you talk, don't you? What's wrong? Shh. Come here. Look. I'm all right. 
We've got to find something to hold on to before it gets lost in the fog. Can you swim? What do you think I'm doing, standing in a sandbar? I mean swim, man. I'll manage. All right. Take your jacket and shoes off. Leave the rest on. And work like a wetsuit. The water's cold, huh? At least there's no icebergs. Stay as cold as possible. Sharks around somewhere. Don't you think we should call the Coast Guard or something? The Coast Guard won't go out in the soup. But they should be notified. I mean, that's what they're there for. Why don't you just calm down? The Coast Guard won't go out till morning. Your boyfriend will be back by then. Then he may not. I'm going to go call him. No, no, look, look, wait, just, just wait just a minute, will you? Now, look, I, I told him about the radio. But they were so all fired anxious to get that shark. So that's why you're stalling on the Coast Guard. Your boat shouldn't be out there at all. Well, now, that's not true. Now, wait just a minute, will you? I'm here. We're here. Over here. Nothing. No balance drums, no life preservers. Wait till I get that guy who sunk us. I'm gonna tear him apart. I'm getting tired. Here. No, no! Rick! Use them to help your natural balance. Lay back and fill your lungs with air. And put the bags under your arms. Right. We'll take turns on them. It might be a long night. That yacht probably radioed the Coast Guard already. I wouldn't count on it. I have a feeling there wasn't a body on that boat that was sober. Do you have uh, a family that might be on the Coast Guard? No, oh, no, I have one. How about yours? They're here. No. They're used to my crazy stunts. They won't be worried for another day or so. Our only hope is the fat man. Maybe he notified the Coast Guard already. I doubt it. They're the last people he wants involved. If he keeps his mouth shut and we make it back, he won't get in hot water for having a boat that isn't seaworthy. What if we drown out here? Then the boat drowns with us. Who can prove it is a seaworthy? Uh, you sure not a cheer, fella. We start singing. Singing. Talk, sing, joke. Keep your mouth going. We need the company. Rock Island Line is the name of the line. Rock Island Line is the name of the line. Rock Island Line is the name of the line. Rock Island Line is the name of the line. Rock Island Line is the name of the line. Rock Island Line. not be back. Well, don't sing anymore. Are you kidding? This is Mendoza. You'll find me. 
Thank you for calling me. This lives over here. Did the Coast Guard call you back? Yes. They sent a boat out to look for them. The candy bar is the only boat reported missing. A charter boat pulled up at the government dock about an hour ago. A bunch of drunks on board. The bow's badly damaged. Of course, nobody can remember hitting anything. But uh, what did the Coast Guard say? That they struck the candy bar. It may have sunk. Did you ever drown? Not till now. No, I mean drown. I did. Yeah, I was about five years old and I went down this river with my folks. My dad dived in the water off the riverbank and swam out to these logs floating out in the middle. I figured I'd like to do that too, so I jumped in. Only it was over my head. I guess nobody saw me because I was drowning. It was strange. I could see everything, hear everything. It's the most peaceful moment of my life. And then somebody yanked me out by the hair and I started coughing and crying. But for that one moment, peace, real peace. Since then, I've never been afraid of dying. I almost drowned once. But I'm afraid of dying. Well, what happened? I was diving for buds. Right near here. Off one of the Channel Islands. I went into this big cave. When I was coming out of the hole, I... I sucked in hard. And that was it. I was out of air. I thought to myself, Alejandro, this is it. Unless you try hard to live. So I dropped my weights. And I kicked off the bottom. A free ascent. I had 125 feet to go. The surface seemed like it was a mile away and I thought I'd never make it. But I did. Because I knew I had to live. I never thought of it that way. Well, you better start thinking about it that way. Because that's the only way we're going to make it through the night. Hey, look. Look. <laughs> Help me make it through the night! Woo! Woo! <laughs> that trawler you want to buy? I kind of like the idea. How much, how much are you going to buy it for? Five thousand dollars. I could really dig something like that. Living in a boat. Going where the work is. Relaxation. Yeah. Looking for mermaids. Woo! And those, the salvage jobs you were talking about. Man, I know those jobs. Sure for, huh? 
Nothing. The Christian? Try Alejandro Cristiano Vicente Mendoza. I took Carbo from my father. Oh, he was Christian Carbo, huh? No. Jesus. Only thing is, the gringos got up tight calling a, a Chicano Jesus. So they called him Cabo. Where back where he started from? Where'd Cabo come from? Cabo San Lucas. That's where my father was born. And he came up to California. And I hope that satisfies your curiosity. Oh, I'm getting tired. Trying to track and swim and sleep. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can laugh. You got the best. <laughs> huh? Quick! Hold on to me. Don't move. Don't kick your feet.
Hold it. Oh, I gotta go, guys. I, uh, I gotta go. What'd you expect? A kiss goodbye? Yeah. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I, I learned stereo, baby. Uh, yeah. Here's your money, baby. Gee. salmon there jump right into the boat, uh-huh. Now, uh, just the very thought of fish makes me seasick. Woo! Yeah, I got it. Yeah, what? Name of the boat. What boat? Name what boat, man? Our boat. We'll call it the Tiburon. How about that, huh? Tiburon. Tiburon? El Tiburon? Hmm? <laughs> El Tiburon, the shark! Yeah. <laughs> Salud. 